Hey guys, welcome back to another Morphogen product breakdown. Today we're going to talk about Morpho Pump. Alright, so this is another one of the newer products in the line. I have not, I haven't really talked about this one a whole lot. Um, but now I've had a chance to use it uh, for probably a couple months, I would say, or ever since it was out. So probably, probably two months now, give or take. And I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about the product, tell you what's in it, of course what the ingredients do, but also how you can use it and how it might uh, be used in conjunction with um, with other products. Because I have had questions about this and concerns about overlap with other products, especially like Volugen, for example. So now <clears throat> we can first go over the bullet points on the side, which I always like to do. So may assist with blood flow, nutrient delivery, and muscle cell volume, circulation and vascular health, physical performance, and localized uh, vasodilation, muscle protein synthesis, lipo, uh, lipolysis, I always say that, lipolysis, and inhibiting fatty acid synthesis and um, antioxidant protection. So, a um, few things. First off, let's go over the ingredients in here. And then I'll tell you about application on the product. Now, I had taken some notes and things I wanted to say, but you know, honestly, uh, there's a lot of bullet points for this product. So if you actually go on the Morphogen website, you can find each ingredient. Uh, when you click on the product, you can go in and you can see each ingredient, and it will it will essentially show you the research and um, benefits for the ingredients. So I'm going to go over that. And I'm going to put some of my personal notes in there as I go through it as well. Okay. First ingredient, epimedium or horny goat weed, which I'm sure people have heard about. Uh, it's been used in Chinese medicine as an aphrodisiac and erectile aid. Now, it is a uh, PDE5 inhibitor. So if you're familiar with um, traditional PDE5 inhibitors, Cialis, Viagra, very similar mechanism, okay? Now, it's shown to, in research, work about half as effective as these ingredients. And you've probably seen this maybe in like the uh, cheap gas station pills and just, you know, stuff like that. And in some libido enhancement products. Now, the problem becomes bioavailability, dosing, um, extract strength, and, and what have you. So, Promotes nitric oxide signaling, and of course, that works synergistically with the PDE5 inhibition. Now, right here, you know, it tells you about it right here on the website. Poor extract yield may also lead to low levels of circulating icarin, which is what we need. Um, below 60% of the dose is too small, and above 60%, uh, the integrity of the compound may be compromised. A quality uh, Epi medium yielding 60%, Icarin is recommended. So that's what we have 60%. And it is a 1000 milligram serving. Okay. Pomegranate is the next ingredient. Pomegranate's fruit. You guys have probably heard of it. Super fruit, right? Okay. Pomegranate preserve ni preserves nitric oxide. So, uh, you know, essentially it's not break broken down as quickly. Decreases fatigue during exercise, improves endurance performance, uh, lessens recovery time, reduces body soreness, helps prevent coagulation and blood clots, reduces inflammation, lowers heart attack risk, maintain healthy blood pressure, and improve visual and verbal memory. 1,000 milligrams. Okay. Pine bark. Um, pine bark extract. It's a 95%. I am going to attempt to say this. Okay, 95% proanthocyanidins, okay, has been investigated for general health properties and ability to enhance nitric oxide, may reduce chronic inflammation, autoimmune disease, increase blood flow and blood glucose control, and is cardioprotective, as well as help with erectile dysfunction, anti-diabetic, anti-hypertensive, and improves kidney function, which, you know, and anything that's anti-hypertensive is pretty much going to have some kidney uh, kidney protective type of properties you could assume potentially can lower liver enzymes and exert mild hepatoprotective effects so liver protective 500 milligrams 
of this particular 95% extract in Morpho Pump. All right. Epicatechin. I don't know if it's catechin or catechin. That's how you pronounce it. Again, I, I'm not great. I know what the ingredients are. I don't pronounce them well. I can read them. I just can't say them. Fair enough, right? Okay. <laughs> it's found in plants such as green tea, uh, cocoa. It is an antioxidant. increases nitric oxide. So, of course, that's going to have all the other, you know, endurance, blood flow, so on and so forth. Potentially lower cholesterol levels. Uh, help with body composition, improve brain and heart health, uh, and memory. So it's a, a potential um, cognitive enhancer as well. Uh, some of the research has shown to decrease myostatin, a well a growth factor protein that regulates and limits muscle growth, which we know that. Now, 300 milligrams is what you're going to see in the product. Okay. All right. And that's a 90% extract, by the way. A mento pump. Now, Mento Pump is the trademarked ingredient, or it's trademark name of an Mento Flavon. Essentially, is what that is. Has been shown for decades as anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, antiviral, and um, analgesia, lower, like, ugh, lowering blood pressure, lowering blood glucose, and strengthening uh, the immune system. Okay, so. This is a PDE inhibitor. It is a non-selective PDE inhibitor, but it's still going to have, you know, it's still going to have vasodilating effects. Okay. Um, whereas the others, the other that I mentioned specifically, the horny goat weed is a what they would call a selective PDE five inhibitor. So it would be more traditionally used for erectile dysfunction. Now, boost mood, reduces feelings of anxiety, improves lipolysis and inhibits fatty acid synthase, which may stop the body, the, the, body, the body from storing energy as fat. There's 200 milligrams per serving. And just so you guys know, a serving is six full capsules. I'll talk about dosing on here, but that this is for the six, the entire six capsule serving. Okay, a few more. <clears throat> beta echidiosterone. Um, this is a steroid class of hormones that's actually found in insects, okay, shown to have androgenic activity. Now, they have a wide variety of effects in humans, such as lowering cholesterol and blood glucose, increased protein synthesis rates, and uh, possibly neuroprotective. Now, interesting about that is that traditionally an androgenic effect would not lower your cholesterol, except for maybe your HDL cholesterol, which isn't really what you want, but interesting side note. So this increases Icarin absorption and lowers Icarin excretion and breakdown through, a, um, through inhibition of a specific protein, which I'm not going to pronounce. It's P, well, it's P-glycoprotein, that's easy. Thereby increasing the effects and lengths of action of Icarin. So you see this as a kind of like a complementary ingredient to the others that I had mentioned before, okay? So you're basically complementing the PD-5 type of um, mechanism at this point, uh, gluconol <laughs> gluconolactone. Now, this one is one that you will see as a food additive, which it actually says this right on here, is a multifunctional safe food additive. Okay, so why would this be added to the product? Well, it acts as a lactase uh, fall fall risen hydrolase inhibitor increasing intestinal eye care and absorption over 500%. So again, it's complementing that eye care and content. So now we have increased absorption and we have a decrease in the actual eye care and breakdown, okay? So you're gonna have better blood levels for longer, higher, you know, so, so on and so forth. All right. All right, so last one, vitamin B3, which is niacin, for those that aren't familiar. Now, this has some cardiovascular effects uh, in terms of your cholesterol and triglyceride levels, but it also has um, increases vasodilation, improves blood flow, and can lower blood pressure short term. Okay, so those, those are the main things that we're looking at here. It does have a couple other effects in terms of like uh, protecting endothelial function. Now, what? Okay, so a few things. How the heck do we apply this product? That's kind of what I get asked. Obviously, there's a lot going on here, but you get the theme 
um, that there are some cardioprotective and neuroprotective and some secondary effects like that. But uh, vasodilation, um, increased circulation, potentially lower blood pressure, so on and so forth, those are kind of the main effects of the product. Now, um, some of that, again, is just secondary to the vasodilation, but I'll tell you how I apply it first. So I use half a dose, which is three capsules in the morning, and then I use it in the evening. I do not use it with, um, or I do not use it directly pre-workout. I use Volugen pre-workout, okay. Now, could you put the two together? You could, uh, but what I normally suggest is, um, I normally su would suggest starting with a half a dose at most, maybe even less, maybe one to two capsules, and work up to a half a dose with the Volugen. The reason is, this large increase in vasodilation, especially some of the blood pressure lowering effects can make people feel kind of weird. Now, a lot of the time that's probably offset by the fact that your blood pressure is going to go up temporarily while you exercise, you know, while you weight train. So it's, it's probably not that big of an issue for a lot of people, but you don't necessarily have to take this directly, um, you know, like directly pre-workout. You definitely can, but you're going to get benefits, um, circulatory benefits for taking it, you know, literally any time. So that's why I split it up and then take that direct pre-workout supplementation beforehand. Um, my blood pressure actually went down slightly on this. So that was kind of cool to see. So that's, again, um, the ingredients in here do have some antihypertensive effects, but it's also secondary to just um, the vasodilation and, and better circulation, right? So that's really cool to see. So yeah, it can be stacked. You could stack it with anything essentially in the product line, it's not really an issue. You just really want to assess, um, you just really want to assess the dose in terms of your tolerance and make sure you're not like dropping your blood pressure big time. Another question I get asked from the PD5 standpoint, it's not anything to worry about in the gym unless you're, um, unless you're getting aroused by looking at uh, barbells and dumbbells, you're not gonna have any problems. Um, even other PD-5 inhibitors prescriptions, so like, you know, Viagra and Cialis, they require arousal to work. You can take, you could take them hypothetically um, and get a better muscle pump and circulation and blood pressure lowering effect for them, right? So a lot of people that are on like a low dose Cialis, it can help with blood pressure, right? And it can help with, you know, just overall circulation. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean you're going to have an, a direct like, erectile effect from taking the product. Now, can it help with that? Yes, absolutely. So especially in, especially in older people, and I don't, I don't, when I say old, I don't really have an age, but you know, the issue becomes that um, vessels can break down and become small, constricted, broken down and, and unusable. All right, so this can actually help. Um, some people with erectile dysfunction will have a circulation issue more than anything else. And that's why this could potentially help with that. I've already heard two people mention that, that it helped in that, you know, in that arena, though that wasn't really why they took it in the first place. They just said that that was a secondary effect. So kind of cool, there you go. There's a little anecdote for you on that. Um, but yeah, I do get that question a lot. So easy to stack, just start low on the dose or separate it, take with, you know, take like morning and night and split it up. Now, if you take antihypertensive drugs, I would, um, I would definitely just split it up and not use it, not use it at the same time. Um, fat loss as well. So if you wanted to include it in a fat loss stack, this is actually something that could potentially benefit um, lipolysis. Now you heard me talk about it in the ingredient list, but also if you think about the mechanism, blood flow and fatty acid liberation kind of go hand in hand. And especially in areas that are overly fat or have like large fatty deposits that you have a hard time losing, um, better circulation is always going to help. So as part of a fat loss stack, like for example, if you were using something like morpholine in the morning, uh, fasted or thermogen, you know, if you're getting like the yohimbine or the alpha yohimbine in there, 
um, along with you know the other fat loss ingredients, adding this large circulation component to that would absolutely be beneficial. Now, of course, it's all secondary to your calorie deficit, but I'm, but you know when you're trying to get those areas to come off, especially like the last stages of fat loss phase or contest prep, right there for sure. Um, backstage, I just had a client compete recently. They took some um, backstage. They took, well, actually how they did it is they took three caps in the morning and they took the three other three caps uh, backstage. So great pumps. They had already been using it during the prep, so they kind of knew how it affected them. But um, again, circulation, benefiting your circulation has so many other effects. Um, it also, just from a general health standpoint, takes strain off your heart, takes strain off your kidneys. You know, it takes strain off these organs, you know, that are trying to pump, move blood and fluid. And so, um, great products. Again, you can find it on the site. Uh, that's uh, Morpha Pump. Go check it out. Talk to you guys next time.